Hi everybody, my name's Charlie, and this is the beginning of my new chat show called Cleaning Out the Cage with Charlie. And this is my co-host Spencer, and we're going to clean out his cage because he was in his cage for a while and he decided to make a mess. So I'm going to clean out the cage and we're going to talk about stuff. Today's topic is, what's today's topic Spencer? It's going to be summer movies. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about summer movies, I guess. And I don't have enough paper towel to do this with, so we might take a, a intermission. And uh, what's in the cage? Um, it's a little bit of number one and a whole lot of number two. And then uh, this guy's going to be getting a bath afterwards. So not a good day for Spencer. And not a great summer for movies either, I don't think. I think the studios got into like kind of this arms race of uh, who can spend the most money on movies. And... Um, and I think that produced some uh, not very interesting stuff because when you spend a billion dollars on putting a movie out there, well, a couple hundred million, on putting a movie out there, you kind of go into the lowest common denominator. All right, so Avengers, big thing. I think they juggled them well. I think there was like the cool moment for each guy. Aside from that, I it was like cotton candy. I mean, I, I'm probably not going to think about it again. Um, then what came out after that? I didn't see the Johnny Depp vampire movie. I don't think I missed anything. I'm kind of over Johnny Depp. Um, yeah, so after that, um, oh, Battleship. I went to see Battleship, and, uh, who gave that guy money? Um, so that's, oh my gosh, it smells terrible in here. And, uh, Battleship, it's not even bad. It's like, what, how did you get money for this? There's like a... A Pink Panther segment that seems to go on for like 10 minutes where he's stealing a burrito. I'm not sure what came out after that. Uh, a couple weeks down the line, um, we had Snow White. Um, I think my girlfriend and I got in a fight and I went and saw, the, saw that uh, protest. And uh, by seeing that movie, I think she won because that movie, it looked pretty, but everything was terrible aside from uh, What's-His-Face and Charlie's Theron, uh, Thor. Uh, oh my gosh, I just got a big whiff of Lysol. All right, going in. Prometheus. I saw that IMAX 3D. I'm not a huge fan of the Alien movies. They're okay. But kind of the formula, especially the later ones, got a bit tiresome. I mean, that formula exists in this one, which kind of count the stupid scientist, you're going to get killed stuff, kind of interacted poorly with like the, ooh, here's some deep themes. My dog's going to the bathroom back there. I hope you can see him. All right, after that, Spider-Man came out. I felt like it was like 10 episodes of a Spider-Man web series. It looked really cheap. That guy's awesome, though, and um, that girl is great. I don't buy either of them as teenagers, but no, they're, they're perfect. Dark Knight Rises, I just, you know what, I'm going to do a favor and not talk about it. Dark Knight Rises exists, and people have opinions on it. Um, then after that, I'm missing some. I saw Total Recall, which was a total waste of time. There's headline pun. So that was super generic, super filled with lens flare, some cool looking stuff, but worthless movie. And then after that was Born Legacy, which was interesting. I felt like it actually needed an actual villain and not just this conspiracy stuff. Kind of felt like Superman Returns, like th there's a good movie there and everything is lined up and it looks good, but you just didn't have a bad guy and you didn't have a consistent vision for the movie aside from here's what we did instead of having Matt Damon come back. And then after that, we had the campaign. I think that came out same weekend. It was cute. It was like under 90 minutes, so it was really slight. I wish they would have really blew it up, kind of like uh, his NASCAR movie. Like, really went hog wild with, like, crazy ads and stuff. I think that would have been interesting. This and that Cops movie he did last time, the other guys. I don't like... The, it's a bad blend of, like, smart and really dumb. But that baby got punched in the face real good. I feel like some are wound down after that. Expendables 2 was somehow worse than the first one. Direction was better, but the gimmick is gone. I'm ready to invest in like new and interesting theater experiences, and yet, and you can do that within like an action movie, big budget context. It's just not happening, and that's a bummer. And maybe it's because like they rely so much on international money that they can't really do interesting stuff because that stuff has to play to a non-English speaking crowd. Um, I'm missing a lot of movies. But I did not miss a lot of uh, a lot of stains in this cage because it's pretty clean. I'm gonna do one final wipe. 
I'll show you a cage and then we'll talk to the dog real quick, all right? He was in this for like 10 hours, so it's pretty impressive. Uh, his feces bag is about one and a half pounds, about the weight of two iPads. Um, let's talk to the dog. Spencer, what do you think about our new chat show? Can you say goodbye, everybody? Thanks for watching.